The following program is brought to you by Caltech. Our next awardee is Dr. Sai Remo, who received his PhD in electrical engineering and physics in 1936. Anyone who had the pleasure to meet Sai Remo is captured by his intellect, his kindness, his humor, and gentle spirit. This award is long overdue, and you will find out why in a few minutes. It's long overdue, and, but we are still now very honored to recognize Dr. Remo for his many contributions to the field of electronics research and development. He contributes his arrival at Caltech in his words as a lucky career break. However, it is Caltech that has been lucky to count Dr. Remo among its alumni. His pioneering work with microwaves, the development of the G electron microscope, the advancement of missile and rocket technology, and the creation of vital and influential companies are a testament to not just his extraordinary intelligence, but also his passion and courage to impact society. His leadership and entrepreneurial spirit led to the founding of, sec of several successful corporations, including TRW, Thomson, Remo, Wooldridge, which later was merged with Northrop Grumman, and including Space Technologies Laboratories, which was the, world, the first firm in the world devoted to supporting space exploration. Throughout his career, he has received much recognition, including a National Medal of Science from President Carter and a presiden the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Reagan. His books have been published in nine languages, and it may surprise you, he holds the sales record for a book on tennis, <laughs> in addition to technical books. He is also an accomplished violinist, and in fact, in the past, used to give concerts here on the Caltech campus. Dr. Remo was unavailable to join us today. However, uh, alumnus and trustee David Lee, Professor R.S. Rosakis, the chair of the Division of Engineering and Applied Science, and I had the pleasure of celebrating his honors is with him last week. And we're going now to, show, to share with you a, a short video, including a few words from Dr. Remo. You know, Sai, it's a great honor and pleasure for, for myself, for Dr. Rosakis, and our good friend David Lee, trustee of Caltech, to uh, be here today and present to you the Distinguished Alumnus Award from, from Caltech. Uh, it is long, long overdue. I guess what we created, a life trustee, we didn't count on life trustees getting to be as I am now, 99 years old. <laughs> but at any rate, when that was changed, uh, apparently it was decided I should receive the award and I shall certainly prize this. Thank you, it's a great, it's a great honor to be here and uh, present the award to you, Sai. And also Thank engineering you. is very proud to claim you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Dr. Raymond, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. I'm so delighted. Thank you very much. Yeah. It never occurred to me, I think, in all the years that I've been associated with Caltech, that I would someday be the oldest per alumnus at 99, which I am this month, to receive this, this award. I was not eligible until recently because of being a trustee at Caltech. And I remember being heavily involved when we we're conceiving in, among the trustees this award for alumni that I strongly defended the concept that no trustee should be allowed to receive the award. <laughs> and apparently, that finally, it was decided as a life trustee that should no longer apply. <laughs> I uh, am imagining now, as I look back, how my life was altered by being at Caltech. I've been the recipient of luck all my life. 
I was always in the right place at the right time. And it was in the year 1933 that I arrived at Caltech. And that was, you might say, in the middle of the Depression period. And fortunately, I was able to get a, a scholarship at Caltech or my career in engineering or in science, or for that matter, in business, would have been quite different. So I'm appreciative in many ways to be thinking about my relationship to this award for going back to its beginning. And I'm very proud now to be a recipient of this award. You know, as a university president, as my good friend and predecessor, David Baltimore, who is here today, David, as, as, uh, as, as David and I know, as, as university president, th there are very few decisions you can make. In fact, you'll be surprised how very few decisions a president can make. But from time to time, you can make one. And I felt that uh, changing a little bit the rules and saying that a life trustee could become a distinguished alumnus I think it was a decision I should make, so 